high class. Today we're going to have a look at how to treat someone suffering from an allergic reaction and anaphylaxis. Lots of people have what is called an allergy. An allergy happens when a person reacts badly to a certain trigger. Triggers can include food, animals, plants and even insect bites. Your body usually works to protect you from bad things like germs, bacteria and viruses. When you have an allergy, it means your body is trying to protect you from ordinary things. This can cause sneezing, coughing, itching and other reactions that you can get with allergies. People are sometimes allergic to nuts, eggs, cats and dogs, bee stings, flowers, even grass. These are called allergens or triggers. There are a few signs you can look for if you think someone is having an allergic reaction. These symptoms can include sneezing, itching, tingly mouth, runny nose, watery eyes, hives, welts, or even body redness. Get help from an adult you trust. Tell the person to stay calm, ask them if they have any medication that they can take to help, and stay with them until the help arrives. If an allergy gets really bad, it's called anaphylaxis. This means the allergic reaction is getting worse. It's really important that we need to get help right away by either getting an adult or calling triple zero. You might see that they're having trouble breathing. They have difficulty talking or they might have swelling around the tightness of their throat and tongue. They may have a wheeze, a cough or even trouble swallowing. This is now a major emergency and you need to get them an ambulance as soon as you can. If the person knows that they have anaphylaxis, they will have an EpiPen. It might be in their school bag or their sports bag. It could be at the teacher's desk or it could be in the office. This is what an EpiPen looks like. So what to do? Remember, follow the St. John Action Plan. Send for help by getting an adult. Call triple zero. Leave the person flat on their back. Find their EpiPen and assist them in giving their EpiPen. Make sure once you've given their EpiPen that the person does not get up and walk away. They need to stay where they are and wait for help. So this is what an EpiPen looks like. We have a blue safety cap end and an orange end where the needle comes out. First what we need to do is put a fist around the EpiPen and hold it tight and firm. Then put the orange part next to the person's thigh. Then remove the blue safety cap. What we're going to do then is hold it firm, push down as hard as you can into the thigh and we're going to hold for three seconds after we hear the click. One, two, three. Once you've done that, you can safely remove the EpiPen. Remember, for a minor emergency, allergic reactions, ask the person if they have any medication. In the event the person is in anaphylaxis and a major emergency, you need to use the person's EpiPen. Good work everyone. Now you're a first aider ready to help someone in a minor emergency with allergies and a major emergency with anaphylaxis. Great job guys.